Hi friends, welcome to Welding Engineering Encyclopedia. Actually, I have made this channel before some uh, one week ago, and I I I see that so many person are interested at this to see this channel. So I am also interested for this. So many of the videos will uh, will upload here so that so many people know about the welding and all these things about related information. So uh, today is the topic is uh, about the WPS and PQ and how to make and what are the basic requirements. As the uh, WPS and PQ, you know very well every people that it is a very huge thing. So we will go to the part wise. This is the part one for WPS PQ and the older performance qualification certification. So first things, what is WPS? Welding procedure specification, a document that provides in detail required welding condition for a specific application. So actually it is as per the SME standard. If you go every standard have different the requirement. If you do at this standard, there is so many QW402, 404. That I will go the later on the part stage. But you know the basic requirement. What is the what is the requirement? Basic. The welding procedure specification, which document detailing the proper procedure and require welding condition to make the oil the wps is the document often given to the welder which told the report report use this procedure in this welds performs what the mean the welding means if you go the welding before go to welding there is a certain of things you have to know then current ampere voltage then speed whatever whatever is this in the WPS as per well, ASME standard you have to follow we, then you have to go to PQR so PQR it is the preliminary WPS you have to make the first preliminary WPS in that WPS you have made the PQR what is PQR the record actual welding condition used to produce an acceptable test joint in the result of the qualification test if the P qualification P qualification WPS what are the what are the values are there current ampere voltage and that it will be qualified in the PQR and that PQR all the takes will be the acceptable then the final WPS will be the prepare the final WPS will be the uh, prepare and that will be the follow in the uh, in the uh, in your side you know whatever the it will be the final in your documentary the documentation qualification record means PQR which is the written record of the oil procedure and the test performed on the oil to ascertain the procedure did indeed produce an acceptable weld. This is actually welding procedure specification and procedure qualification what I tell you. The second and third is welder performance qualification certification. A record of a welders or welding operator will definitely to produce welded joint that meets prescribed standard. Then what you that particular WPS you have to make the WPQ means we have to follow the that WPS that same standard same values and we have to make the some welder will do the welding and we have to have to follow the WPS and if he qualify the WPS and the there is a PQR and, and the, there is some test is are there as far as me the PQR requirement if it is okay if it is uh, then uh, their record is okay and the test procedure is uh, uh, lab test is okay everything then they can they can do the welding that particular piece he is qualified the particular WPS the older qualification what is this the older from my qualification and certification is a record of a test given to the welder which proves that welder is capable of making quality words it does not the guarantee that welder will make perfect words each world but certified that the welder is capable of doing quality work thus final world inspection should not be ignored in any quality element production there is a certain period is there if the older is old not older maybe six months we'll see there is problem the older cannot do the proper holding we cannot see achieve the good quality then we have to do again test for this particular welder and we have to retest again and we'll qualify again i think the first page it's clear the second page will go Second page is standard requiring qualification. There is so many qualification we have. We have the here it is mentioned only the AWS. If you see 
AWS D.1, 1.1.3. You can understand what is this. Every specification is mentioned here. It is basically here is AWS mentioned. There is ASME V31 code pressure piping API standard 104. It is basically mentioned in the here AWS and API. But I am I, I will discuss all this. It's it is a requirement. AWS D1 or whatever if you go there, there is a almost basic 90% is there. There is some of the pre-qualification is required for structure seed and maybe here is different in as me the requirement. Okay. Pre-qualified procedure. Yes, this is applicable for AWS D1.1 based on the reliability of certain proven procedures spelled out by the applicable code and specification. That means you have mentioned pre-qualified procedure in the first as seen above when you have holding engineer is using a pre-qualified procedure as the essential variable are specified and the engineer can just accept the procedure without any qualification testing required there is a no qualification required if there is a pre-qualified in previous at the same material same thing same everything will be the same as for the wps if you want to go any any manufacturer want to go the next inspection next um, any work at site they can well, they can use the pre-qualified procedure however if there is any variation in variable specified the requalification testing program may be required if there is a variable is changes essential variable there is a changes some whatever the essential variable that may be in that topic you can change some of the base metal some filler metal you can change you, you if you want to change then you need to requalification again the use the detail protection always until verification holding qualification test not required employee accept responsibility for use deviation naked pre-qualified status what are the basic steps of qualification procedure what are the basic steps then first is to go prepare a preliminary wps prepare it well a suitable test volume when using wps conduct required entity and destructive test evaluated result for preparation holding and testing Document result on PQA, issue, issue, approved PQA, issue, approved WPS. This is the actual system. We have to go first step by step. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If the last one is the approved WPS, then first PQA you have to approve. Then PQA all qualification test is, if it is acceptable as per the standard, then only you have to issue approved WPS. List above of the basic steps needed to qualify and needed modify procedure. Note that amount of effort required to come up with a candidate WPS. Make OLS to test that candidate test. The OLS made a record or result. All before issuing at an approved WPS. Note also there is a qualified holding engineer is usually held responsible for performing all the steps through the letter of the law of issuing the approved WPS when the, the uh, issue the approved WPS then calling engineer should be checked all these things <coughs> whatever the essential variable uh, essential variable supplementary variable non-essential but they will check and they will they are the main authority to <coughs> issue the approved WPS <coughs> the peculiar essential variable wps variable consider there is so many guys also told them there is essential variable supplementary variable non-essential variable now we'll go the essential one this is the uh, that's i will give the brief idea here but i'll go <coughs> the i'll give the next lesson i'll give the more more briefly there is a peculiar wps you see the peculiar wps variable consider what is this variable how no what is the variables are there Base metal, welding process, filler metal, type of current, voltage, heat input, travel speed, joint design, joint and surface preparation, tag oil, welding details, electrode size, process, wave, position, preheat and interface, pinning, second side preparation, post oil heat treatment records. The variable usually concerned and recorded in the PQR and WPS are listed above. Some of this may vary code to code. So be careful when issuing the approved WPS. So be careful very because the when you approved WPS you are preparing then maybe some of the variable is not required. So in this particular uh, AWS D1.1 or ask me and any other section, any other section it is not required. So it's not required then you have to put the not applicable. 
and this every this this met this base metal holding process lamp metal i will discuss in the parts two step but for here i am telling only the basic things for the wps picker and wps picker if you go the wps there is so many test position we have you can see 1g 2g 3g 4g there it is a plate plate we have four position 1g 2g 3g 4g you see 1g is a plate horizontal plate should be in horizontal position 2g plates vertical axis will vertical and the test position 3g is the plate vertical axis of will horizontal and the test position 4g is plates horizontal but it's overhead condition plate horizontal but it's a overhead condition if you see the pipe there is a 1g 2g 5g and 6g you see this position 1g means pipe will be the horizontal and it will be rotated it will be rotated and 2g means pipe will be the horizontal there will not be rotated anything there will not be rotated anything and welder should be rotated and welder should be move move and uh, he need to do welding and since g it should be in 45 degree condition the piece will be the 45 degree condition and older will older need to be moved and he need to do welding if you can it's very easily mentioned here every what is this 1g 2g 5g and 6g and there is a restriction ring is there that is special 6g r condition test position it is very difficult but it is it is it is used for special condition not for the all this condition so restriction ring it, it will be put here in this area restriction and then you have to do welding here i think this position is clear and there is a, some peculiar example page i have shown here you can check the everything but in this in, in, in next video i will mention all this particular this w page we got the format and all this in essential variable and non-essential variable i will discuss this is for your learning the basic learning you can understand what are the base metal filler metal position and if you go that this is a wsd 1.1 this is mentioned 2.6.3 2.6.4 .6 if you go the um, ask me then it's uh, qw402 403 404 is different different there is mentioned uh, name or title name or uh, qw name if a pqr is mentioned the what are the taste impact taste requirement picture list of the result of the disturbing non destructive test actually <coughs> i run on the old metal to determine the indeed the front page welding condition resulted in acceptable weld if defects are found in this well it is either in problem with the condition set to make to the world or the ability to particular welding making the world it is it is advantageous it is very advantageous to use your best welder to this well. What is the test commonly used in the PQR? There is so many test used as per the I told again the, there's a different requirement the, as WP is different requirement, WPQ is different requirement, PQR, WPS and PQR different requirement. The test is fracture test, nick brain test, nick break, free free paint, shear test, hardness test, all old metal tension, elevated temperature, distant test, corrosion, ND, delayed cracking. What is the fracture test? What is the evolution? Evolution means risk of brittle fracture at the temperature. <coughs> means fracture test. What is the impact he can absorb that it cannot be brittle? It is called fracture test. Nick break determine the world soundness. Yes, world how much how how is quality nick break that is free bend ductility of world metal world metal ductility how how much he can like how how, how much areas he can ductile shear test shear strength of the fillet oil hardness accuracy of the heat treatment all oil metal tension mechanical proof of wm resistance is crack suspensibility corrosion proof of the all these things are there what is the test of because so basically we are using here nd test and the hardness test leg break test prevent test and fracture test we are using as a now we have WPS and pick another test with a special requirement if it is there with the different types of steel if it is go to the uh, nickel coming steel is a different requirement and it will be 
it will be the requirement if it is coming client requirement is different then it will be different you know the uh, standard is different standard is one same one is idle requirement is there yet sometimes client is required for more things so you have to you have to do that requirement also you have to this is the wps again this is a format you can see here how this is maintained preheat host oil Older performance qualification. What is the variables are there? You have to make after WP and PQ when you finish when you will finalize there is a WP and WP there is a format. We have to mention the format holding process, filler metal, position, joint letter, thickness, and technique. And which WPS you are using, you have to mention particularly that there is WPS and PQ we are using for this particular W holder qualification. Qualification in more difficult position may qualify in a easier position duration of qualification depending upon code usually in active the three to six month period to qualification i told you already before also the same uh, dependent upon the if it is a uh, very good then already doing good then six months of the requalification mode this brings to the last step that is the qualify of the different to the competence of the the important variable is listed above if the holder is asked to weld with one of these variable offering differing from that condition under which he will look to, uh, to the qualification test and the test may be required a welder who has qualified state only for some limited amount of time if that holder has not made well with those exact variable during that again check the code and time the limitation for that test with so the performance qualification record the format if you can see name, test oil, fillet, and all this is mentioned. This is a sample of performance qualification that each holder may have many such record depending on how many variation of condition is was tested under. Also, performance records should be maintained for each holder on your payroll. Okay, I think the up to this one is okay. We have to go the the last page. This is the basic qualification, the, it will be basic requirement of the Holding procedure and performance qualification variable that may require requalification means if you for this matter, if you something, if not to change, you have WPS picker, but you need to change something. You need to change base metal, you need to change thickness, you need to join design, then you need to requalification that WPS. Again, you need to make the new WPS because you are this is the essential variable essential variable you can see base metal thickness of base metal joint design pipe diameter type of current electrode classification and side holding current position deposition of fillet metal root preparation other side preheat interface temperature and posted temperature this one if you change anything if you want to change in WPS then you need to requalification Procedure requalification may be required. Change in invest metal, some code listed environment is really not required. Older qualification is not required, but procedure qualification change in some code listed. Change in outside thickness changes. What are the changes? It's mentioned here. So you can uh, you have to use that the procedural variable. This when outside range usually not required. Older so this is older qualification. This is older person is different. This is requalification, but the procedure qualification it's mentioned here. When which condition it is required? If it is go use the post twelve temperature when outside range, preheat interface temperature when outside range. Above is listed variable which which when they are change may require in redo in procedure and performance qualification. So hope these uh, basic things of WP speaker everybody understand. If you have any query, you can. Um, you can comment on this page and, and especially I'm telling I'm giving I'm uploading every day new videos and if you think the uh, you need more just you comment and subscribe don't forget subscribe and press bell icon so you get more notification for this thank you